welcome back to my channel so um if you haven't already please subscribe if you have welcome back um so today i'm sharing with you guys just um a quick testimony so um you know miracles are real miracles are hap like they're happening and they're happening to be honest i'm one person who not that i didn't believe but i mean no matter how much you see the miraculous it's still an amusement to get what i mean it's still amazing you know you can never just walk past someone who's just received healing and then be like oh whatever cool it's still like a wow you know so that i've had lots of um healing testimonies previously and healing miracles um i mean but this specific one was just like honestly a wow to me so this was this healing happened like i think a week ago okay so this was three weeks ago now i fell on a chair and it was a plastic chair and the chair like scraped my ankle so it was a very little scratch but then this scratch for two weeks i could not wear close shoes my ankle was so swollen so painful even just sleeping on that side i could feel the pain so i couldn't twist my ankle it was just so painful and i was like this is just a little scratch. Why is my ankle just so swollen and so painful? I went to see a doctor. I got antibiotics. So there was the Faith in Action Crusade in Mutare. So there's been Faith in Action Crusades um, in every province. So this specific one was in Mutare and I was serving. So I'll share this at the end. But there's something just so amazing about serving God. Like serving in the house of the Lord. But anyway, so here I am. I'm driving to Mutare, it's a three hour drive, my ankle's swollen, my ankle's painful and I'm going there to serve so I'm like oh lord please just give me strength you know. Drove for three hours for the crusade, got there and I was serving and it was hot guys, it was like blazing hot and in the heat and I'm serving like most of the time I had to be standing and the sun was like hitting right on my ankle, it was just hectic I'm telling you. And then, um, so anyway, pastor shared the message and, um, after the message, we started praying and she said, um, those who need healing, touch where you need your healing. So to be honest, when I went to the crusade, I was expecting my healing because I was like, oh God, it's been two weeks and this ankle is just giving me problems. I can't even wear clothes shoes. I can't even wear heels. And I mean, those who know, like, who know, know that I, I just love my heels. I can't even wear heels. I'm like, no, 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 this is not happening. So um, anyway, I was expecting my healing. You know, I was really expecting. That's one thing that has to be that that just works within christianity be intentional about what you want you can't just expect a miracle that you're not even thinking about yes that happens but be expectant expect something every program you go to everything be expectant you know expect it expect it so anyway um i was expecting my miracles my miracle i was just expecting just a lot to change in my life just from this specific crusade and i know a lot did um so anyway pastor is saying touch where you feel the pain i was touching my ankle or oh, I, I couldn't go down and touch my ankles so i was just touching that leg and i felt this sharp pain like it was intense like my ankle got very very painful and it was very hot for some seconds and i was praying and um pastor didn't lay hands on me she was just praying in the con like um for like everybody and she was, um, so at this time I was just using my faith, like, okay, I'm praying, I'm touching my ankle and this ankle is going to receive healing in Jesus name. So I felt that sharp pain and then suddenly it just stopped. And I was like, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> what just happened? I was like, oh my God, this is a miracle. Guys, when I mean, I couldn't twist my ankle. I couldn't move my ankle instantly. Not like, uh, the next day instantly. I was like, oh, hold on. So when, you know, when you're told to do what you could not do before, when someone, when you feel you've, when you believe you've received your healing, because pastor after that, she's like, do what you could not do before. So I couldn't like, 
twist my ankle like i couldn't turn my ankle i started turning and i was like wow to be honest there was like that little bit of discomfort but i was like i couldn't do this before you know like before the prayer i couldn't do that at all i was like oh my goodness you know so that was faith in action imagine i just stood there and i was like i'm not gonna try because i know the ankle is still painful you know then you don't receive your healing so there's just a few a few nuggets that i want to share from my testimony that you should take when it comes to healing so healing is just really your faith in action. Be expectant. If you're going for a meeting and you're expecting healing, even if you're not going for a meeting, you're just expecting healing. You know, God cares about your health much more than you even care about your own health, much more than you can imagine. You know, we see that when we look at Jesus' life, um, you know, most of the miracles, most of the things, he was healing people. So if God didn't care about your health or like just your well-being, then he wouldn't have been out there um, healing so many people. So that's just what I want to say. So no matter how small it is, even if it's just a small pain in your body, even if it's something big, you can receive healing. Just believe, be expectant, you know, be expectant. You don't even need someone praying for you. Just pray for yourself. Touch where you could not touch where you're feeling the pain or where the problem is. Pray for yourself. Speak in tongues, you know, speak God's word over that, that, that situation, your growth, whatever it is in your body. Speak God's word over it. Pray. Just Get into tongues and pray and just be expecting. You're going to feel something in your body. And when you feel that, you've received your healing. Even if you still feel the pain, you've received your healing. Rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. Start rejoicing. Start doing what you couldn't do before. You know, if you couldn't walk like a few steps, just start walking and say, thank you, Jesus, for my healing. You know, because instantly when I just felt something happening in my ankle, I just knew. I couldn't question it. I couldn't be like... God, is this real? Is it really happened? I just knew and I started praising him and I even shared my testimony. Another way to keep your healing is to share your testimony. That's how you keep your miracle. You share your testimony. So I shared my testimony and guys, when I mean literally, this was an instant miracle. The next morning I was wearing heels. I promise if I had not received that miracle that day, I would have not worn heels the next day. I would have been in so much pain because... I knew that pain, if it was to go naturally, it would have gone gradually. But it literally went from like this level to nothing. I wore heels the next day. Guys, my ankle was so swollen and the next day I just woke up like not swollen anymore. It was just flat. And you know where the skin was like stretched out? It just, and it was black. And, but I was like, oh my God, that, like it, it, like I'm a miracle. So, yeah, I just hope this encourages someone. Just know that miracles are real. Miracles are happening. The miraculous is happening all around us. And life is um, spiritual and the supernatural is what is natural for a Christian life. So, yeah, if you need healing, just open up your heart. Just speak words. Have faith. Believe and once you believe, start rejoicing. You've received your miracle. You have. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll be coming back with more material. I hope this um, encouraged someone and lifted somebody. And just read scripture on healing. If you need healing, read scriptures on healing. And um, we all know that by his stripes, you are healed. And it's not, it's not, you're going to be healed. You are healed already. So, um, God bless you. Have a great week. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I love you guys.